it was handshakes and smiles during John Kerry's first visit to Pakistan as Secretary of State. He walked away from key meetings sounding hopeful. And this revitalized dialogue will address in a realistic fashion all of the many key issues between us, from border management to counterterrorism to promoting U.S. private investment and to Pakistan's own journey to economic revitalization. Yet just how much comes from this visit and what the push for a full partnership actually yields may be in doubt. Michael Kugelman at the Wilson International Center is skeptical. There are so few convergent interests in this relationship from how from, from views on, on militancy, on, in terms of who the enemy is, who the targets are to go after. The biggest divide is over U.S. drone strikes targeting militants in Pakistan's northwest tribal areas, used as safe havens for launching attacks in Afghanistan. Pakistani Foreign Affairs Advisor Sartaj Aziz, speaking after Kerry's visit, was clear about the Pakistani government's position. No, we are asking for stopping, not just containment. During his visit, Kerry suggested in an interview with Pakistani TV that the strikes could soon end as the threats are eliminated. That may please newly elected Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, but the Wilson Center's Kugelman says it may not play well with Pakistan's military. There's good reason to assume that uh, what the Pakistani government criticizes publicly, it actually sanctions uh, privately. And at the least, we know, based on uh, revel re recently uh, leaked documents, that the Pakistani military has in fact had an agreement with the United States where it signs off on these um, on these drone strikes. Still, the U.S. and Pakistan have much to gain in fixing the relationship. Pakistan needs U.S. investment and help with an infrastructure that has left many without power. And the U.S. needs stability in Pakistan as it prepares to withdraw from neighboring Afghanistan next year. Jeff Selden, VOA News, the State Department.